down a half forward. How gets it across to Maloney. Maloney about 60 meters out. Melbourne in best position. And the big guy. It's the puck. It was. He might be 208 centimeters. <laughs> I've said a lot. He's been he's been at full forward. I reckon about 80 percent of the game, but they haven't really kicked the ball at him. But in this last quarter, when the ball's gone to him, he's taking that mark on the ankle, and that was a good strong one. Goes to the deep out the back here. Yeah. Well two. worked. Now long good again. Kick. Petted 60 out. Look at that opening up in the middle. Big Gorn in there. Big man. Uh, well coached. He's really doing well here, Dean Barley, because now Gorn has come on the ground, which is fantastic. So they've got both Ruckman on the ground now. Stephen Martin in the Ruck, gone. They, they may have thought he was playing the Ruck, but he's actually playing as a key forward. So everything working in Dean Barley's favour. Yeah, the Fremantle defence were gone then. They were nowhere near it. And um, I think, as you and Kingy were touching on, I think they're holding their shape a little bit better this week. There's another goal for a big man. The last one was Stefan Martin, his ruck partner. Gorn comes in, kick on the way, it's there, and Melbourne have got four straight. Another two on one, this is happening a lot in the Melbourne oh, four. Big Gorn. Big Gorn almost was gone. There's McFarlane in the end, stripped away Scully, gets an open look at the goal. 50 out, no one in the goal, three needs a good bounce, got it. Beitcher on the backside, the Demons. Evans to Jones. Grimes was able to just steady and assess. Gorn in the middle. Oh! And he went with it. Welcome back, Max, and a goal at the moment. Big Maxie. The MCG members haven't been excited about a Maxie since Tangles Walker That's was here in the oh. 70s and 80s. Kind of thought it might have brought a smile to Mark Neal's face, but gee, wouldn't you be disappointed from GWS's perspective? Two on one. I think it's Gillam on one side and you've got Phil Davis on the other. And he just parts the Red Sea, throws them both out of the way, marks it, plays on and kicks it. Here come the D's. Look at the strength of the big man. He's been, he's been good, Max. This is a positive story for Max Scott. He's had the 11 disposals. He's come back from two knee reconstructions. For this man from South Australia to show his wares today. And Jimmy Tompas kicks it out wide. Gorn goes oh. over. He's got it. Beautiful big one-handed. All skill to be able to predict and not give away the free kick. Yeah. Garland who did it now. Vince has a chance from 55. It's coming back. Whoa. It's coming back. Oh. It's a mighty goal to the Demons. The What's run. the tap though, boys? Yeah. We said they're going to struggle Richmond with their main ruckman off the ground. Well, it was Dustin Martin that went up against Gorn in the ruck. Yeah. How's the finish? Right? He might get a second crack at it here. And it's a better effort. The centering ball for Gorn. He yeah. muscled his way through. Did and no kick yeah. It's hard to get it out of there. Dawes tries to muscle his way through and did something. Now Maxi Gorn with an opportunity. It's a big opportunity and he takes it. Oh, the big fella. <laughs> That's a very important goal from the big man. He's all but seven foot with about 10 kilos of beard. <laughs> but that is a very good goal on the run. But again, you need that half chance. Have a look at the big fella. Looks good had, pick up. Had no thought whatsoever of handballing it in board to his uh, supporting player in Matt Jones. Said, no, nah, I'm right. And uh, good guy. Gets them up into the 50. Here's Barry. Closer to goal. And he exits it to Gorn. Oh, 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 he's got it. He's got it. The second, I should say. <laughs> if you'd like to, freezemnd.com, 1.75 million at the moment. Gorn to Pedersen, brilliantly done to Vince. Oh, that's wonderful stuff. That's a great tap over the back, isn't it? No. Got to try and widen it out a little bit, uh, Geelong. Going inside forward 50, seven times without a goal is pretty unusual. That's a really yeah. good mark on the back of a good kick. They haven't been Gorn. direct enough, Jared. They've got to attack the goal front a bit more, Geelong do. Big Maxi Gorn. That's a fine grab for the Demons. They've lost their last 10 against Geelong, and they're inside 50 again. Gorn's down oh. there, and he's stolen, Gorn! They've just been harder at it at the present time. Demons have uh, just been much harder at the contested ball. Andrew Mackey thought he might have... Sorry, not Andrew Mackey. Jared Rivers thought he might have grabbed that. And he's Up had a little piece of it. Up until yet. Uh, no, that's a mark, I, I think, for Gorn. Just one kick and 15 handballs last week for Max Gorn. So kicking's 
Not his forte necessarily, but gee, that looked good off the boot. That was never in doubt. <laughs> High fives all round. It's the work up the field. Give him a strong contest. It's good signs early from him. Heading towards Spencer and Co. But is it Gorn that comes over the top? It is, and he plays on quickly, the big man. Flick it back to try and keep it in play, but all it did was accommodate his immediate opponent. Back towards Gorn, and the big man takes a screamer. Been impressive there, big guys. They're taking marks today for Melbourne. Hit and hope it was okay because it finds Caddy. He goes with a centering ball. Big uh, Gorn will come over the top. Uh, <laughs> as he claimed the mark. Geez, big Gorn's been impressive. Some big contested marks by him. We saw him take a fantastic chest pack mark just a couple of minutes ago. And now he's followed it up with that fine defensive mark. Very again in the pack. Finish, mate. Big Maxi Gorn. Just have a look at this. Rounds 10 to 11. He's been on fire. Pretty handy, those ranking points up over 100. But it's been the contested marks. Uh, you can see there as one, but he's had five contested marks today, which is really impressive. Stevie J's got possession, gives the hand pass away. They've got an opportunity now. The kick goes long in towards full forward. Selwood sees it over the back, and it's one behind. Stokes will see. Ridden into the ground or dumped by Big Max Gorn, who's playing inspired football, by the way. Six contested marks. Here he is again. <laughs> he's, up, he's everywhere. He's giving them a great kick out target as well. Viney takes them on, drives it wide. Gorn, big puck. And a great game from him. This is Taylor, but has a chance to get onto it here. Braced himself, rode the bump. Lewenberger, good service back. Goes short, and that's a... Oh, Adcock fumbles, recovers. Watch out, Gorn about to get him, and you are just about Gorn. So another great tackle from Max. Gee, that is Adcock, great uh, play. Look, he, he fumbled the mark. He had to know he's under some hurt. Marco, who's been in terrific form, over a full arc and bang it up to full forward. Oh, Maxi Gorn, super grand. It's not just a, a tap ruckman, he can grab a big contested mark when he's at his best. Bangs it up to the wing. Gorn and Grundy to contend. Oh, good. Uh, Maxi Gorn. Really at the far side. Gorn with the left hand, and the big man goes again, Maxi. He's enjoying this, and it's a Polly Farmer like hand pass to Viney. Play all going down the line. And it's the latter towards Downey. He's forced to defend against Gorn, but not good enough. And Big Max claims the mark. He still didn't find his man. Johnson, the little standoff. Been doing that for a long time. Left foot kick to the goal square. Oh, oh that was an outstanding effort to get back. Maxi and take that mark on the last line. Old fashioned Rackman mark there, saving the day. He's a bit of an old-fashioned type ruckman too, Maxi, but G covers some ground and can take a grab. Martin Street, Jamie McMillan. It's on its way back, Gorn, down cleanly to Tyson. Wouldn't they love this one? Another goal for the Demons! They've let Melbourne right back into this game after absolutely dominating in that first turn. This was a smart play. Didn't overkick over it. Good play there from Maxi Gorn. And that free kick as well, even against Del Santo, I think, to Vince. The numbers are there from both teams. Goldstein, Gorn! Well, Max has had a big influence on what's happening in this term. The comeback, he's been involved in a lot of uh, hits to advantage at stoppages. And now he has a chance to drag one back from Goldstein. What's been both North Melbourne kicked so accurately with this breeze in the first quarter? Now Melbourne, since since Ken missed that first opportunity they had where he blazed away, they've gone five goals straight. Jared, any point. movement on this one? Extraordinary to think, Dicko. Halfway through the first quarter, North Melbourne led by 42 points. They are now behind. Melbourne in front. Nevertheless, it's a great mark. He got in front of Goldstein, read the ball well. Ball moved uh, in the air right yeah. and left. Goldstein read it best, went back and slotted it. What a comeback. Exciting game of footy here at Blundstone. 25 contested possessions to eight in this quarter. Yeah. Oh, they've just smacked them around the stop. But it's the time they've done it. It's the time they've done it in as well. Yeah. You know, still 11 and a half minutes to go in this quarter, and they're back in front. Pretty clear that Hogan was the biggest man who was yep. going to either mark it or bring it uh, to the ground. Oh, gone. Stylish stuff. Down oh. to Jones. Oh. Who gives it everything? 
Melbourne still with six rotations remaining north with eight. Harms. <laughs> Got one. And they're still alive. Again, Jono, it's that sweeping tap out from Max Gorn. He's done it a number of times. Let's have a look at this. Bang. Over the back. Melbourne have scored goals from that particular uh, avenue a number of times. The competition will wake up, but the Kangaroos haven't. And that's an opportunity and a chance for Melbourne to get back in. Big wrestle on there, no whistle. Now Viney, still in play here, the Ds. Pedersen's high ball. Bug with a fly and gone! Maxi! Still a lot more dangerous inside 50, Melbourne, than Richmond do. And told to stand up. Is that uh, Buck again there? Who's getting under the skin of a few Tigers at the moment? I want to give a reverse for a kick. There's more space inside 50 for Melbourne. Hogan looks dangerous. Gorn pushing down. It's still more likely to score for me at the moment. Yeah, he had a breakout game against Geelong last year, Gorny, and since then, Dars, his, his confidence has just gone through the roof. He said at the start of this year he wanted to be the number one ruckman. He took Goldstein on a couple of weeks ago, and it was a pretty fair battle. He's continued that on. It's been exciting to watch him develop into a regular player. He kicks his fourth goal of the season, and the Ds are out to a 16-point lead. To say, Ivan, that's what I can do, and I'm capable of uh, a bit more tonight. So it's a big win, and there is Buggers getting into marriage as well. So it's a big moment of the game for Maxi. Well, he's doing it all, Dars. He's doing it at both ends of the ground, in defence, and then pushing forward. I've always said that if you've got a ruckman that can kick goals and uh, you've got a real weapon. Yeah, couldn't agree more. Just changes the game, isn't it? When you get involved the way Big Max is at the moment, there he is again. Back towards the line and Hunt oh, camped angle. under it. Come Did out. nicely. Plays on quickly again towards the hot spot. Hogan rants with him and Maxi again. Big Maxi is having a night out. Well, in the end, Hogan getting up in front helped Max Gorn out because it kept Rance away from the football. How important was that? They're good hands. So that's a whole pack coming in. Look at that. Whole way to the pack, whole way to Hogan's body at full pace. And he stood up, the big man, plucked it beautifully. All 208 centimetres. Brilliant effort. This is a beautiful set of numbers now. 13 disposals for the big ruckman. And two goals to boot. The D's kick away again. 53% he's gone. Effective disposal of his 17 possessions. What Just about that man? Max. Max Gorn. Max. This will be disposal number 18. He's taken seven marks. So last chance here for Melbourne. Now you can go long to Gorn. Here. He's going to pop it up here for Max Gorn. He's going to pluck the mark in the middle of two Gold Coast defenders. Okay, well done. It was good by Vince to uh, identify that. Gorn was floated down there in the pocket on his own. He saw that uh, Gary Ablett, not only Gary Ablett, but Gary Ablett because of his height, the mismatch. Let's just put it on Gorn's head here. He's able to complete the mark. That was good. At least the other Melbourne forwards saw that and pulled away from him. They stood at the top of the goal screen now. Big Maxi needs to kick this for a team lifter for Melbourne. We work down to quarter time. Big kick here for Max Gorn. A terrific year, at least to keep Melbourne right in this opening term. And he squeezes it home. Great goal for Max Gorn right on quarter time. To Ruckman. Tangle again. Gorn was able to get the tap down. Here's Fiery. He's able to gather from 49 metres. He goes for it and kicks it. What a great start for the second half, and it's Jack Viney. He's able to wrap around the back. Just watch this. Good communication. That's spoken about. So Max Gorn has obviously signaled to these midfielders, or vice versa, and they were able to run around and execute very well. That is a set plan that was well executed and a great finish, of course. Good kick for Jenna. Takes the mark. Handball away to Watts. Watts looks up. He goes long, and big Maxi Gorn is waiting. Oh, and taking right. the mark. And kicking the goal is Garlett. What a night he's had, Max Gorn. Showing please there, the big man. That was just a, 
That was a task too big for the Suns defenders. Great run off half back. The Suns are out on their feet, but Maxi, just this massive figure in the forward 50, and Jack Watts sees him, and it's just an obvious target. Get him as quick as you can. There is no way that Saad is going to be able to spoil that. Maxi, very generous to give that one off. Good grab. Got to the plugs in. A few, few <laughs> gores up the snout already. Big Gorn standing tall inside 50. A lack of height for the power in defence. And Gorn can have a real impact. Go back from directly in front. And this is what he needs to do. He needs to really stretch Port Adelaide by sneaking forward because he's a massive man. And uh, that is a really good mark. As we said, a little bit quiet with six and seven disposals over the last two weeks. A couple of quiet weeks, but it's been a rapid rise for Max Gorn. And he finishes truly from there. Everyone propels it, but that was an exaggerated version. <laughs> Shouldn't matter if you propel, as long as you've got a fist to it. It's still a handball. It's off the, off the palm. Gorn playing in front of Tringo, taking a good mark. Jetta. Laying down, Gorn too big in the middle of the ground. Quarter play off. Had Garland in the pocket. Goes longer instead. He's got the tall timber down there. Gorn reaching over the back and plucking oh, the line. Big miss. Big miss, yeah. <laughs> big miss moves. Oh, Kenny. Just a little bit disgruntled oh. with his pen. But talk about this guy's so. third quarter, boys. I mean, we spoke about it at half time. He needed to get a bit of a lift. Wasn't quite getting himself into the game. His tap work has been brewed down Viney. And yes, Viney's been under a lot of pressure when he's got the ball. But this guy has really turned it on this quarter. Reaching over the top there of Trengove and Westoff. So fighting against two tall players. But he just had the height advantage on them. The miss at one end from Howard. They go straight up the other end, the Demons. Gorn kicks the goal. And Melbourne are right back into this game. And the knuckle as well. And then the ball goes down the other way. And big Maxi Gorn takes a really good mark. Works hard. You see him working hard off the ball to get deep. And he's real. He's cornered in long, gets the ball long, and he's really hard to stop. That is a good grab, good goal. Stretch. Jaden Hunt gets away from White. Nice handball. Gorn thought about Hunt. Now through the middle. Now dangerous times. Door. Oh, brilliant from Melbourne. The pressure they applied in the back half. Now they've got to find a way out. Collingwood have got back in numbers defensively, so I don't think they're going to be able to get it out the back here at the moment, the Demons. Look at the work right here of Chris Dawes. Gee, I reckon it was their best passage of play, Tim, deep in that back half then. Their desperation, Melbourne, on the back of kicking three goals in this quarter. They have come alive. Dawes, long ball. Here's Hogan. Oh, Melbourne. Yeah. And a advantage, Melbourne free. Advantage, advantage. pain. Max scores. He got a good bounce. He takes it out of midair. Maxi says, I Two things about that. A great call from you, BT. But Maxi Gorn, it was his kick. It was a, almost a speculative kick across the ground. And Paul Ruse would have had his heart in his mouth as the ball went across there. But Chris Dawes marked it. Then he followed up. He provided the target again. We know he's got a massive engine, Dawes. Got out wide to the wing. Provided that target. Kicked the ball back in. And then Gorn has sprinted from centre half back to full forward. And then just finished that off. Big Maxi, super happy with that. Oliver Jones. Dangerous ball here for Collingwood in the last two minutes of this first half. Frost trying to destroy the pack. Maxi Corn goes in. Oh, got it. Three to Big Max. Open up another popper. He's popping up everywhere. He's played some sort of a quarter, hasn't he, Maxi? I mean, he's worked in the ruck. He's had 19 hit-outs now. He's had 12 disposals. I mean, he's getting midfield-type numbers. He's reading the ball so well. I think I said three. He only kicked two, of course, getting decided. That's OK. And he's just running himself into the ground. You see the big fella on screen there. He's exhausted. Thanks, guys. Rucks in. Thanks, Brody. Well, there's Hogan again, just drawing a crowd in that dangerous part of the ground. Maxi just jumping up, and then the finish and the delight with the finish. The, the other, Gala, 
And Harms left out of this side. They'll have to fight hard to get back into it. Petrarca, something clever. Ends up with Max Gorn. It travelled 15 just. And a man that has been fabulous this afternoon can have a look at his third. He's never kicked more than two in a game, Max Gorn. Wearing that famous number 11. And he's carrying it so well. Big Max has got three. And the crowd loves it. So here he is, the man of the moment. Career high game in goals, career high game in possessions, and career high game in fun for him. No doubt about it, Big Maxi today has throttled all comers. And today we're here, Queen's birthday, but also to raise awareness for MND. And today you've been voted best on ground and you're now awarded the Neil Danaher Trophy. We know Neil come and spoke to your boys during the week and inspirational man who's doing great things, not just for MND, but raising the awareness for everyone. Yeah, we had 23 players this week with Neil. It was super when he came in. Um, we're going to freeze this beast called MND and Neil's and his family are doing the right, the right, the right thing there. So hopefully everyone here has had a great day and thanks to Collingwood, but the D's got over the line. Why well, don't actually go and enjoy the win. Through the middle they come. Wagner, he'll want his left boot. Gets there in the end. Now into the pocket. Gorn uses his body well against Nunes. Fell back with the flop. And now this to make it remarkably just 17 points. He just came on straight from the interchange, Max Gorn, and saw where the stoppage was. Melbourne transferred the ball through the middle part of the ground, drifted forward and was clearly out, out position there you see on, uh, on Nunes and ended up holding his ground, taking a strong mark. At the height advantage, he used it. I mean, he needed to do something. Melbourne needed to make every opportunity here. Hasn't scored today. 12 goals for the year. They're desperate for one. And he gives the Demons fans what they're craving. Back to 17. Knocked away. Chance for Petrarca. Knocks it to himself. Gives inside. Don Tyson off the side of the boot, perhaps. Well weighted in the end. Can Max Gorn settle, go back and kick his second? and make it a five-point ball game. That's exactly why he's there. They're rolling the dice. It's a bit of a gamble here. Here's the first first tackle here, almost a trip. But at the other end of the ground, it was Jack Watts. It actually was part of a link-up bit of play as well. So he has to run Hickey at one end for that to be successful. They may lose a little bit about the stoppages. But having this big guy one-on-one -on -one against Gilbert is just going to be too big, too strong in the air like he was on that occasion. A great look at what Max has before him. He's hit it well enough, I think. Max has now got two. This is 11th on the AFL ladder, but it hasn't looked like it in this opening term. Gone front spot. All Australian bound, perhaps. Luke Hodge behind the football, Dwayne, so he's the deepest defender for Hawthorne just to try and protect the back. Gee, Burgoyne. Gives that some sky and Gorn likes it from everybody. Yeah, that's huge by Max Gorn. Intercept mark in that position of the ground is critical. And that was a huge pack. Squeezes it wide and it works. Good delivery. It's just magnificent to watch Key. Frost, a little don't argue on Hodge. Not sure many have ever been able to do that. Gorn with the one hand pluck. He's a cold figure and a cold hero. You can see why he put it out there at the start of the year. He wants to be the number one ruck in the comp. Chase down Goldstein. Well, he's doing that yep. very quickly. Yeah, well, he's the number one ruck in the comp this year as a ruckman. But we've seen he's, he's been quite competent as a forward when he has snuck, snuck forward. Hasn't spent a hell of a lot of time there this year, but he has had an impact with his marking when he does. Yeah, a couple of knee reconstructions. It's his seventh season. Big bearded Max. Sneaks it in and scores a level again. Oh, he's up and about too. He's getting the MCC members going. They're all back from the snow. All the Melbourne supporters and Big Maxie's fired up. They'll be happy to see this show. Good kick. That was a better kick for goal. Than he, uh, he had a miss in his first quarter, but he kicked through that ball. 
Haven't got any big targets today in the forward line, Melbourne. That's why Maxi is important down forward to take a contested grab like that, especially with the absence of Jesse Hogan. Good control with his one hand against Ben McAvoy. It's a better kick. Drove yeah. his momentum through that ball. It's the possessions, but it doesn't go on the scoreboard, and I think that it be causes some frustration in the coach's box. Viney got free on the left. And even they win the clearance, let's watch this roll now. Melbourne's used their hands really well. A good tap to start off with Gorn from stoppages. Back in the middle, slammed into the deck. Gorn gets high. Straight down to Viney. Sizzling handball through traffic. And Kingy, you must be happy with the way Gorn and Viney are combining in the last five minutes. Big Max, he's got the best three rover to ruck, ruck to rover combinations in the uh, AFL at the moment. Oh, there you go on cue. Straight down Jones's throat. Gorn to, Dice, to Tyson's number one, the competition. Gorn to Vince is number two, and Gorn to Jones is number three in, in the AFL. So that's what they should be looking to maximise. To Jones. Crack. The handball. Hodge, the delivery man. Segler full forward. Gorn. Oh. Big Maxi gets back, and the crowd rise again. For us. Two on two. Brand got away from Watts to help out. Gorn again. Oh, he's done well today, Max Gorn, but Brand did well, and that's where Max Gorn's positioning was so critical because he left Jack Watts, impacted the contest. Good ball inside 50, but this man's been in the way all afternoon. We've had a big day, Maxi Gorn. We've spoken about him a fair bit throughout the day. And 13 disposals, contested marks, five of those, few in the defensive end, but the hit has to advantage, 14. That's the big number for Max Gorn. And huge today for Melbourne. Also uncontested possessions. Normally two real strengths of Hawthorne. Yeah, mate, Melbourne yeah, have beaten them at their own game today. Gorn goes back with a flight. That's it. I'm growing a beard this week. <laughs> <laughs> How good is this guy? I can't wait to see that, Dwayne. Melbourne have kicked the last five goals of this game. Centering discipline kick. Maxi. It's got it. Well, how else would it end? <laughs> but in Max Gorn's hands. Listen to the crowd. He's got to take his thought. He wait for the siren to go. How long's he going to afterwards? How long's going to take you to aim to get that beard grown? <laughs> Max is like four or five years, but I'm starting. I don't care. <laughs> Even the coaching staff are growing them. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Listen to this. They've let it every change. Oh, <laughs> but it's not an added climax. It is one of the great wins of the year to any team. Starting to make our way towards half time. Boat goes long. Young to leap. Gorn with a big pack mark, Maxi Gorn. What a mark, Max. There's a little bit of one team bad or the other team good, and you say, which way was it? The answer normally is oh, look at that's those a bit, bit both ways. Melbourne are just really good at that's the moment. That's a wet footy, dude. Yeah. Wet footy tonight under extreme pressure. He is absolutely plucking them at the moment. That was right in front of me, Roo, and uh, I heard that, that sound. As well. Polwick can set this one up. Congested forward line. Dixon gone. Another big strong pack marked by Maxi. It's a ripper, isn't he? Just getting used to that now, aren't we? Yep. The standing tall in amongst a heap of players. Brayshaw. Jaden Hunt did well. Melbourne will go inside 50 again. Maxie. Gorn worked his way to the front. Matthew spotted Lobby. it early. Matthew Lobby. He was an extra man in defence. And he was on the wrong side of the field. And just didn't get to where the only place the ball was going to go. There he is now, just walking behind the umpire, away from the man on the mark. Maxi's had five contested marks for the game. Port Adelaide have had three. Big Maxi. A bit of poetry and slow motion from Max there. Tapped it to his own advantage. Got it to Lewis. And a huge roar from the crowd. And then Hardwick with a long high ball to fall forward. And Maxi oh. takes a colossal mark. Intercepted by Bray. Short tumbling ball up to Hogan. Slapped on towards the goal square. 
Gorn trying to get back. He's got the size and the strength to snap on goal. as Big Max Gorn. 30 minutes coming your way from Optus Stadium. Gorn oh, decisively spikes it almost to half forward. Huge for Ross. Runs to 50. Gets a long ball. Goal side. Touched on the line. Max Gorn pulls down a ripper. Bailey French might have a shot here from 48 metres. The drop punts on its way. It goes right across the face. And Big Max is there. But he probably will, as you said, his set shots have been letting him down. And he comes, check side. Oh, kicks the goal with absolute ease. Long way each time he strikes it. Gorn. Oh, Himmelberg. Too easily passed in the end, and then Gorn to the other side. To... He doesn't attempt it. Sticks it to Gorn. Big Max Gorn is going to have a shot from 20. Petrarca. Correct call to him, I'd add. Gorn just shoved McAvoy out of the way. In the meantime, the doggies go long and strong, oh. and Max Gorn comes over the top and takes a screamer. With a beautiful bounce to oh. start it. Harmed, wasn't that good ruck work, Tim? Yeah, Have a look at this again. Gone. Just twist his hand, just a little bit. Beautiful work from him. That's great tap work. Getting his hands on it plenty as well. Looking for Rainer to rise. Uh, Getting away a bit of height to Gorn. Turns and runs to space and a beautiful kick forward. Just couldn't quite get it, Maxi Gorn, but he picks up, gets to his feet beautifully. Did it magnificent. On the ground, Hannon was there as well. Jones waiting down, flicks it round the body. Where's Big Max? Well, he has it thumped away from oh. him. Oh! He changed his mind, the umpire. Well, I think he called Bagley front, front on contact in the end. Is it what it's been paid for, whether it's right or not? Oh, yeah, we saw him kick. Someone said something Max in the crowd then. Well, he's in his per perfect spot, Max, today. Shouldn't be a problem. Check side from outside the boundary line. This for his second for the quarter. And to answer the goal from Stringer. Oh, no problem at all. Big Maxi has got two. And he steadies the Melbourne ship. Deja vu. Take them all from there, James. They just got to kick to him in the pocket. Went straight back to that man in the crowd too and, and just uh, said thanks for the advice. <laughs> Free kick there, Jason, or not? Line ball. Fox Margin now, three goals. Opportunity for Majacek. Gorn in the right spot at the right time. That goes chance. He's a left footer. It was perfect for him. Oh, He's been superb tap. though. What a tap. Under his boot, but no real system. Gorn's got to try and manufacture oh, something. Gorn goes to ground. At ground level. Goes in the Jacobs. Oh, good mark there. Big source not paid. Maxi streams away. Lowers the eyes. Gets it to Petrarca. And you've got to love this. 208 centimetre ruckman. Maybe a mark. But look at that athleticism. Lost all the weight over the summer. That is outstanding. Second game back for him. Tom McDonald, a good run. But Gorn in front. A superb mark. <laughs> How it works at this end of the ground. Let's have a look. Good starting position. Perfect. G's worked it out. He saw the tackler coming from side on. Now Hibbert on his favourite left. He loves this opportunity. Gorn marks on 50. Wheels and goes. Little chip kick. It was good. Really good placement to Tim Smith. Lewis sends it high. Gorn, a big opportunity here. Gorn, a big opportunity. A brilliant play, Maxi Gorn. Gorn than the one he missed, and there it is, nicely done. Crowd rises one. It's Petrarca. He's certainly having an impact on the game now. He just lays it up. Big Max Gorn. Yes. Towering mark, and he leaves the Dockers. To centre half forward, handball missed its target. Oh, Big Max, he just picks it up <laughs> and goes pounding through. Rugby union style. Let's go, boys. They're calling for a torp here. Yes. The Melbourne fans are <laughs> so lining up for a drop. I'm going to sit it up for Tom McDonald and see if he can take a hang yeah, he's Something fit. different here. He's thinking, Maxie, look. Yeah, he's going yes. short. Well, he's got over the head of Caleb Daniel and just sneaking in was Jesse. Beautifully done. Swung in a 360. Lucky not to get it. Well, lucky to oh. get away with it. That's a ripping tackle. Jeez, and look who's doing the tackling. Big Max Gore. Lines it up. Oh, man's gone down. Yeah. Big, just big Max. Maxi. Hit the deck. He's got a free kick. And that was a fair way off the footy, which I didn't get a look at it. I only saw him hit the ground. I didn't see what happened. 
Edwards pushed forward. We know that he's had set shot kicking for goal drama, including in round one where he missed a shot to win the game for the Ds. This for a handy lead on Max. No problems. He loves it. And look at the celebration. He's high-fiving everyone. Half time, five minutes to go, 13 point Melbourne lead. Oliver. Yours. Neat little ball, and finally Petrarca will get some reward for the good work that he's done today. How good was that? Hit out by Max Gorn. Look for a break at three quarter time. Very hot conditions. Oh, oh, and is there a free, a free kick in the ruck? Well, this could be a big blow right on three quarter time. He's got to turn this around before the finals if they get there, Doom. So Analyze it for us, Dicko. Margin 25 points before the kick, oh. and he strikes that one magnificently, does Big Max. Using all of his time, about 48 metres, on target, needs to swing a little, and it does, so a brilliant kick from Gorn. Gorn in there, had it knocked away. Oh, Max, he's gang tackle, and the ball's in another <laughs> postcode. Gorn goes with a spiral. And got about three quarters of it. Work to do in the opening term. Gorn. Gunston arrived late, but too late. Oh, Probably Callum with the Bulldogs. Into Gorn. Important moment for him mentally as well with the set shot. That's better. That's a little looser. Gee, he drew that like a pro. I think he's genuinely excited about that. No doubt in my mind that a weight off his shoulders right there and then with that kick. Gorn back on the ground. Just goes the big roundhouse. Petrarca. Henderson in his first game for the year to Duncan. Kelly, Maxi got him. On the ball. There goes even wider. Bailey French is going to have a shot to the top of the square. Max is at the back. And he's going to go back. From defence to offence, here they go, the Giants. Langdon. Over the logo, inside 50, chance for Lobb, Gorn, great grab from Maxi Gorn. Under pressure, going back with the flight. Oh. Spears it beautifully to Gorn, who drops it, but he was shoved, so he's going to get a free kick. And Maxi, a crack at goal again. Giving you a perfect view, there's the target at the back, you can see if he hits that. Oh, it's coming back, it's okay Maxi, didn't hit the target, but he got the six points. He's got his second ball top of the square Gorn gets back and takes a very very nice mark the umpire said no you play on so big maxi now gets it out to neil bullard is this the quick reply yes it is melcham who's had a blinding year over the top petrarca he's got a couple of runners harms is one of those works it forward here's a chance for Gorn. going into an open forward line makes it much easier for the forwards Gorn down to jones melbourne into attack again Ball. They've got Crummers front and centre in all the right spots at the moment. The D's, it's working for them. There, but he was at the back of the pack. Now Gorn gets maybe an opportunity taking it from Clark. A snap at goal. He's got that one. Go the outside. Goes the more risky ball up the middle here. Impy and Gorn outmarks the smaller Impy. Just needed to be slightly more aggressive with it on the boot. Gorn. Oh. Was playing like his life defender on after his kick turned it over. Yep. He at least got back to stop the goal. Gorn on the 50. He kicks in towards full forward at the back. There's Max Gorn. He gives it to Jesse Hogan. Tucked in the pocket. He steadies. He shoots. And he goes. Sensational play, Jesse. He's got four. Have a look at this. Max Gorn. Most hit outs in a season coming in today. And now the first ever to get to a thousand when when you get a hundred here at the mcg you normally raise your bat <laughs> what do you do you lift your beard who's at ground level neil bullen just try and tap it into space there is hunt hands free gordon will have another go at it second time round he'll make amends and he's got his second and the big fella's happy petrarca off the ground towards half forward. Can the D's respond? The last three to the Cats and four of the last five. Gone to the one on one. Jackson bounces through, skips through. Demons respond. Umpire explaining that. Five footy. Heading towards the interchange. Gone, solid. Jackson to the back. Mitchell and Jones. Phillips. Melcham. 
Wobbles it into the chest of Max. Max gone. Here we go. Look at Big Max. So a bit going on. Petrarca. Brilliantly boot to ball. High one. Almost McDonald. Big Maxi sticks it through. Just a little sideways one here to Hunt, who loves to run. And Elliott ran him down nicely. Made him dispose of the ball quicker than he wanted to. Oliver to Brayshaw. Very, very cool Brayshaw and Gorn. Takes the man out of the mark out of it and just really thought about that and did it extremely well. Langdon just rockets it inside 50. Good spoil from behind coming from Collins, the vice captain, but it spills the way of Viney. He's got time to assess the options and he puts it beautifully out in front of Big Mac. He'll have to go the check side. From that left foot around the corner, he's shaping up for the Just for the to banana. get Gary Lyon out of his seat. To give him something to cheer about. Gorn goes the banana. Oh! Gorn! Lever, happy to take a little off and just hope Gorn's in! <laughs> what is going on? Chris Scott is out of his seat. And Melbourne are minor premiers. Just like that. <laughs> try and script it, try and write it, try and believe it, it's happened. Truck has got a few options, Oliver, he's by himself, Gorn touched, he would have seen it, happy to keep rolling this time, Max, the skipper, on the run, around the corner, they've got eight. Demons. First two of the third, and here comes Petrarca again, full of confidence. Handball inside to Gorn. 55 metres, takes out the driver, sets sail for home. Is that why he doesn't it? Well, a trick in sport. Have a look at this. Another one for the Demons. It's Max Gorn. He's got four. The run from behind is Rivers. Drives it inside again. Not Max again. Are you kidding? Guthrie heads towards the boundary. Dangerfield runs with the trainer. He looks like he's got some issues. Rowan, look at Gorn kicking goals, laying tackles. Has Hi. Some... Hi, Melbourne. Free kick goes Melbourne's way. Play on. Plays on. A bit of an arc. It's got to come back from left to right. And it does. Statement made. It's come. Dump it front. Oliver steals it back again. Sparrow gave it back. Jackson sets it up to Gorn. The two rucks. The unicorn's done it again. He's got a left foot, 15 metre lace out pass in him. Yeah, he's kind of expected to kick this. Yes. That's the new Max Gorn. Max for the Max. <laughs> Butters kicks it away from Brayshaw into the middle. First man there, Bowie. 10 games, 10 wins. Gorn, there he goes. To equal their second longest streak, the most they've won in a row. Gives himself a little room, strikes it really well. The captain kicks it. It's become his thing. Grabs a metre or two. Smiles. Gives the fans plenty to cheer. It's critical for the GWS that they stem the bleeding here. Max Gorn, clean possession, he's got another one. Too good. He did. Oliver on the back pedal, just the required distance to Max Gorn, who rates himself with these these days. A big arch out to the right here. Play on. Good hit. He's nearly kicked the cover off it. He loves those moments now, Max. Gorn and Sicily matched up. And it's in Gorn's direction. Front spot on his chest. 
Lysel, that's a great kick. Describing the reliability. Oh, it wasn't about reliability. Of the artistry on his kick. Oh, this. And there is that work of art again from Big Max. Eat your words, Chief. He's looming as the difference right yeah. now. Yeah. Is Max Gore. He's just uh, mine. Now it heads in his direction. Has he got the height? Pick it at the fall of the ball, runs out of room. No, brilliantly. Keeps it in. Petrarca feeds a handball inside to Brown, to Gorn, to goal. Bang! We'll be watching on tonight. Urging his swans back into it. They kicked an important late goal. Sparrow sends Melbourne forward. Oh, well played, Harms. Emerge with the footy. Sends it to Max Gorn. The goal square is going to be hard to defend, Max. 30 minutes of football underway as Petrarca finds Langdon with a handball over the shoulder and Langdon through the middle. Goes towards Jackson. Jackson happy to go long towards the top of the square where Max Gorn is. Holding. Stay here. Max has three. Salem in the Gorn direction. Gorn, second effort, held on to it. Almost went around the corner and Brayshaw said, don't do it. Looks pretty good and a five-point lead becomes 11. Here's Shacky, met it, couldn't hold it. Hibbert did well, quick hands. Gorn had to go back, but he knew Lever was there. Shacky being muscled. English from the side, there were three... Back to Viney. Lever. Big slap into the path of Oliver. Quick release. 